The land of the Kaaba said, which land is like me? For the house of Allah has been built upon me. People come towards me from far distances and I have been made the shrine of Allah and his safe place. Allah Almighty then addressed it, stating, enough and keep quiet. The grace of what you have been favoured with is like a drop on a needle that has been placed into the ocean and lifted from the ocean of grace that I have favoured Karbala with. And if it was not for the soil of Karbala, I would have not favoured you. And if it was not for whom Karbala had embraced, I would not have created you. Or what you are proud of. Therefore calm down. Do not utter and be obedient, humble and submissive towards the land of Karbala. And do not become arrogant towards the land of Karbala. Otherwise I shall wipe you to the fire of hell. Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam also states in regards to the soil of Karbala. In the soil of Karbala is a remedy for every illness. And it is the greatest medicine. His eminence then expressed another narration, confirming that the land of Karbala is a portion from heaven. Imam Ali ibn al Hussein alayhi salam said, God has chosen the land of Karbala as a safe and blessed shrine. 24,000 years before creating the land of the Kaaba, and if Allah Almighty was to cause the earth to quake, he shall uplift the land of Karbala with its glowing soil to the sky and place it in the finest garden of heaven. And it is the best settlement in heaven, whereby none other than the prophets and messengers would reside there. And that this land will shine for the inhabitants of the heaven as a luminous star that shines for the people of earth. Its light shall make the inhabitants of heaven stare as it calls, I am the pure holy and blessed land of Allah Almighty that has been embraced with the Prince of Martyrs within it. Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam stated, if one was to complete one round of prayer beads made from the clay of Karbala by seeking forgiveness from Allah Almighty or any other prayer, Allah Almighty shall count it as 70 times and that prostrating upon it during your prayer would penetrate through the seven heavens while the prayer is being lifted up. This truly is an amazing, amazing narration which aids us to recognize the grandeur and generosity of Allah Almighty in that he has bestowed upon us such great rewards for something which is not so difficult to carry out. It is incumbent upon us that we be thankful and grateful towards him as he subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us such a blessed advantage of being able to prostrate on the soil of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. The water of the Euphrates is an exception in the same way in which there is an exclusivity in the status of the soil of Imam Hussein alayhi salam's grave. His lovers, pilgrims and mourners, there are several narrations evidencing this reality which are as follows Imam Ali alayhi salam said Euphrates is the best of waters in this world and the hereafter Ibn Qawalayh has narrated Imam Ali ibn al Hussein alayhi salam said every night an angel comes to earth along with three ounces of musk from heaven and places them in the Euphrates and there is neither a river in the east or the west with greater blessings than it. Another narration that has reached us in respect of the Euphrates River had been narrated from Imam Hussein alayhi salam as he said, heavenly drops fall into the Euphrates daily. Indeed, the splendor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ever so great. His generosity upon his creation is abundant in that he has glorified the believers on the visitation of Karbala and has given them special treatment by inviting them through his beloved Prophet Muhammad 
and his pure progeny السلام, they are given a chance to purify themselves and drink from the water of the river of the Euphrates which itself has its own specific holy qualities as well as concluding by visiting the holy shrine of Imam Hussein السلام, this is of the mercy and affection from Allah Almighty towards the pilgrims of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Our duty is only but to thank Allah Almighty for his bestowment of such a wonderful blessing. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah.